Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're looking at how to elevate our home styling by the timeless design of Shinozuri and see why it's so popular. But before we start, let's take a moment and explore a bit of the history behind Shinozuri because it is very fascinating. Shinozuri is a French term meaning Chinese-esque. It's a design and decor style inspired by the art and culture of China, Japan, and other Asian countries. It developed in Europe in the mid-1700s as explorers and merchants began traveling to the Far East and bringing back stories and drawings of this exotic locale, as well as importing Asian silks, porcelain, and lacquerware. A craze for all things Asian soon swept Europe, and designers, artists, and craftsmen started to create their own fanciful versions of these wares. You can flip through any interior design magazine today and you'll likely see Shinozuri elements crop up on page after page. From colorful food dogs to glossy lacquered furnishings, Shinozuri encompasses far more than the blue and white porcelain we know and love. The first step to incorporating Shinozuri into your home is to embrace the key motifs, which include Chinese figures, pagodas, bamboo, fretwork, which we'll talk about later on in the video, nature scenes, romantic florals, and fanciful animals. These motifs can be found in fabrics, wallpapers, furniture, decorative accessories, lighting, and art. Step two is to introduce intense color. No one color palette represents modern Shinozuri decorating, even though blue and white comes close. Rather, it is the use of bright bursts of intense color that distinguishes this decor style. Often the color choices seem unexpected, like the mix of acid green and burnt orange. Other favorite color bursts are peacock teal, cherry red, sunshine yellow, and bubblegum pink. So go ahead and paint that chest a vibrant color or buy those loud throw pillows. Or you may choose to use a more neutral color palette and add Shinozuri accents to complete the look. When wallpapers became popular in the aristocratic homes of Europe, the upper class turned to Asian landscapes and nature scenes. These were extremely costly as they were all hand painted. Lush gardens and floral motifs were all the rage. The motifs that are popular today tend to be more graceful with birds, flowers, and Chinese scenes. The most beautiful Shinozuri wall panels today are still hand painted. If you're looking for something a little more affordable, easy, and quick to achieve, but still want to bring the wow factor into your space, then Shinozuri wallpaper is the perfect solution. 
available in a huge variety of colors, designs, and styles. Sometimes wallpaper and murals can be a bit too much of a commitment, but getting that same look with a little less permanence is easy. Chenazerie wall panels come in a variety of sizes and can really fill the wall space, just like wallpaper. A very budget solution would be framing Chenazerie style wallpaper and adding it to your space. Another way to bring some chenazerie style into your home is by decorating your walls with chenazerie paintings and art prints. There are so many beautiful design elements to choose from, making it easy to find a print or painting that matches your decor. I have linked a couple that captures this style in the description box if you are interested. Furniture in the Chinese style was famous for its surface decorations and frequently decorated with ebony and ivory, brass hardware, Chinese lacquer, and faux bamboo. These fretwork can be seen in chairs, tables, and cabinets. Fretwork is an interlaced decorative design, most often featuring geometric patterns. This design element is often created by ornamental woodwork cut to represent small interlacing pattern or trellis. It is often seen as a decorative element in Chippendale furnishings as well. Fretwork is also represented in wallpaper designs in various pattern and scale.
The folding screen, decorated with schnozzery motifs and scenes, was often seen in the 18th century country houses, and it was a popular expression of the Chinese style. Adding an accent piece in your decor is another great way to incorporate chinoiserie. Even in a modern space, a chinoiserie inspired piece of furniture, such as a beautiful lacquered and painted secretary or bamboo chair will become a treasure or conversation piece. Opt for chinoiserie upholstered pieces if you don't want to sacrifice comfort, but you want to incorporate that Asian influence. Sometimes one piece in a room can bring the subtle chinoiserie feel that you're looking for. Oriental gardens contain pagodas, and this design element is widely used as a decorative element for not only making furniture and home accessories, but lighting. Choosing fixtures that are reminiscent of pagodas or lantern type style. Many modern accessories will incorporate chinoiserie elements and table lamps as well. An important decorating component of the chinoiserie interior that is easy to overlook is the use of rich texture. From the smooth linen and silky velvet to a coarse jute rug, the layering of varied texture adds to the feel of a chinoiserie space in a subtle but powerful way. It creates sensory interest, engaging the eyes and touch. If you prefer something a little more subtle, try experimenting with some chinoiserie curtains or pillows. This is a great way to add that touch of chinoiserie chic and elegance to the room. Plus, they can be moved around the house to freshen things up again and again.
to make things a little cozier, Shinazare bedding is a perfect choice. A low investment for major impact. And of course, no Shinazari-inspired home is complete without embroidered hand towels, napkins, or tablecloths. Shinazari chic and maximalism go hand in hand. They are both all about the layers. Layers of pattern, texture, color, and decorative collections. There is a feeling of abundance and exuberance when maximalism goes chinoiserie that just works. Consider a wonderful mix of pattern from a romantic floral wallpaper to the graphic punch of leopard chairs, or juxtapose other modern geometric patterns in wallpaper, furnishings, or rugs. The exotic motifs of Shinazari decor define the true beauty of the style, and these fanciful motifs perfectly complement modern geometric patterns. Look for beautiful Shinazari style mirrors. This is one accessory that can bring instant wow factor to your space. Heavily influenced by the Rococo style, mirrors were inspired by the use of oriental motifs and a very stylized nature.
Finally, appreciate the quintessential blue and white. It is rare to find a Chenazerie inspired room that does not have at least one piece of blue and white porcelain. These iconic ceramics are chic and easy to decorate with because blue and white is a straightforward contrast that can pair with anything. Whether you use a rounded ginger jar or a beautiful bowl, garden stool, or opt for table lighting fashioned from a ginger jar or faux bamboo, you'll find blue and white porcelain is a classic way to add some Asian flair and achieve a chinoiserie style from minimally modern to traditional homes. Put simply, blue and white is a color combination that will never go out of style. Do you have Chenazerie decor in your home? If so, comment below and tell us how you styled it. Until next time, wishing you beauty and inspiration.